I bet there's lots of people who don't know that you can do that. It can be a bit of a puzzle to find things to do without breaking the bank, especially if there are other people involved and especially if you're not sure if you're going to have to dive indoors. In England, winter lasts September to May. Don't look that up to verify it. The meteorologists haven't caught up with me just yet. They will accept the truth one day. So even when you're looking for free things to do in summer, the first part of the puzzle is having a choice of activities that everyone can afford. And the second part of the puzzle is also having a choice of activities that allow you to change your plans last minute when it inevitably goes from sunny and 25 degrees to rainy and 15 degrees all in one day or one hour. So you might find these suggestions useful wherever you are and at any time of year. Oh, by the way, you know those dancing and pointing tips videos that are so popular. I could do one of those because I used to be a dancer, but I also thought what's the most watched dance performance on the planet? And one of them is a seven lip sync battle with over 92 million views. So then I thought what if we gave that a new lease of life by combining it with something else that people love? Remember the question in life is not why, but why not? Let's find out what my mate Edith has got for us today. And yes, that is a movie reference. Let me know afterwards if you work out which movie I'm referring to. Here's a list of eight free things to do in summer and beyond. Nature walks slash hikes. Plan beforehand. Where do you want to go? What do you want to see or do along the way? Maybe you'd like to explore the local area. The Walking Britain website lets you search for walking trails near you. If you prefer going off the beaten track, then check the Woodland Trust website. The National Trust also recommend walking trails. They even list pub walks. Beach trips. Why not enjoy some vitamin C? Ha <laughs> ha. This is often only free if you live near the beach and don't spend on travel, so do a quick search online for free shuttle buses, cheap park and ride buses or walking trails. By the way, did you know that if you are a National Trust member anyway, you can use their car parks for free with your membership. This can be really useful for parking near beaches because beach trips can be notoriously expensive. It's free to go to the beach, but sometimes that saving gets completely wiped out by the cost of parking. Or if you are going to be by the beach for more than one day, you can also look into season tickets. Credit where it's due, I picked up both of those tips from Emma Maslin, a money coach at The Money Whisperer. But since I'd never come across those tips before, despite researching free and low cost breaks in the UK in the past for my blog, I thought I'd shout her out because I bet there's lots of people who don't know that you can do that. Photo shoot. You could have a photo shoot whilst doing the activities previously mentioned. This is one of the most fun and productive free things to do because you can spend quality time with friends slash family whilst getting mementos of your time together. You don't need a professional camera either. A smartphone will do just fine. Is it? Is it? I don't know. That's what everyone's saying. Oh. Make money. Summer is a great time to get your finances in gear, ready for the next academic year or latter half of the year in general. Do you really need me to say more? Museums and games. Unless you're into that sort of thing, the idea of going to a museum sounds horrendously boring and this would be the last place you'd visit with friends. Well, let the games begin. Tell me more. Here's a few suggestions of games that you can play whilst visiting a museum. Do it for the gram. Copy poses of statues and upload them to Instagram. You could even get your followers involved by running a poll on your story asking whose pose is better. Birth year. Go round and find as many artifacts that were discovered, made, created or published in the year you were born and whoever finds the most wins. Innuendo bingo. Have a look at some of the artifacts descriptions and you'll realize that some phrases can be quite interesting. Note down or take a photo of as many as possible and that'll give you something to giggle about on the way home. Most museums are free for citizens, but you might have to bring ID. Plan a holiday. If you have nothing to do, why not plan a holiday? But don't book it until you've made some money in the previous step. You have scope to plan your dream holiday worth thousands, or create a strict budget and see what deals you can find. Then, use your newfound holiday hunting skills when booking your next real holiday. There are lots of holiday and hotel deal websites, but you can get started with Google Flights. Party. Enough said. You don't actually need pointers on how to party, D. <laughs> what I will add is that I am loving the rise in alcohol-free options. Whether it's Lidl's 0% Lager or m &S's Botanicals, which is a gin, a gin-free, a alcohol-free gin alternative. Well, yeah, then I guess it is technically gin-free as well. Or Seedlip. I'm also testing a case of 0% virgin wines at the moment. Give them a go. Oh, and Lisa at Aliasia blog also suggested 0% Frex Frexen. It? How do you pronounce it? I'll put, I'll find out how to pronounce it and come back to you on that one. Cupboard clear out picnic. 
eat your pantry. Perfect for those of you moving house for the next academic year, or just to use up neglected ingredients. Isn't it though? I don't know, that's why Edith is here. Only using leftover food, create a picnic of homemade nibbles and meals to enjoy in a park on a sunny day, on a break from a hike like mentioned before, or even just sat indoors. There are even websites that will let you input what food you have and they will give you recipe ideas. Oh, is that the end? I wasn't ready for it to end yet. Don't do anything I would do. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. There's a, there's a little gray area in there and that's where you operate. If you found today useful, don't forget to test what the like and subscribe button do. And you'll want to catch the rest of the series next. You're good? You're good. How are you good? You turning me down? The best way to get updates otherwise from Save Like a Bear is actually via my email newsletter where I'll also send out a bonus guide on budgeting and mindset. Links to sign up to that are in the description. Go forth!